Hey guys, it's Joe Troyer, and today uh, I have with me my business partner on camera. Ben, you want to say what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? So um, I have something really, really cool to share with you guys. Uh, the guys behind Vid Penguin, Damon Nelson, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> um, they just created these 10 best SINWIRE tips for SINWIRE power users. And uh, everybody that's been picking up Vid Penguin has been absolutely loving it. We got a lot of feedback. Everybody, uh, you know, reaching out to me personally and telling me how much they really enjoyed it and that it was a very good explanation of power tips for power users. So today what I wanted to do is high level go over six out of the 10. And then at the end of this video, we're gonna be sharing with you guys how you guys can get all 10 of them for free, no questions asked. So uh, let's jump right into it. So um, first things first, Ben over there, starting with you. Um, I think that Damon and the team behind Vid Penguin did a really good job talking about the theory of minions and splitting up your team between 18 and B team. And so what I want you to think about with this is, you know, A team, you should be putting more work into these profiles on these networks, right? So A team, you're gonna go use something like fake name generator. You're gonna come up with all the real information. You're gonna put in a profile picture. You're gonna put in, you know, interests and things that they like to do when they're not working. And you want them to feel like real people, right? And then B team, you don't put as much work on and it's more just kind of the blast team, right? It's a uh, really just uh, the bulk accounts that you don't care so much about. And I think that they just did a brilliant job talking about that. I know Ben, uh, it's a question that we get asked really frequently. You know, how much effort do you actually put into the profiles? Anything to add to that? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, you know, the A team, once again, picture, profile, interest, description, B team, those are the ones that you're just gonna blast, right? You don't really need to be concerned about that. So what we're gonna talk about later is the fiber gigs. And another big question that we get asked a lot is should we actually uh, you know, pay the extra money to have them complete the profiles? And that's basically what the A team is, is the completed profiles. That, that we wanna look as natural as possible. That's a great point. So like think of the A team, like you would be upset if you lost an A team profile, right? Cause right. you went to all the extra effort to make it really look natural and make it really look real because it is real. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a persona, but it is a real account. And the B team, you don't really care. They're burner accounts. If they fall off, it doesn't matter. You're always going to be adding accounts into the B team. But the A team is there and you wanna be more careful with it. You wanna put more thought behind it. And those are really the accounts that you're just trying to pump up the page authority on. Yep, exactly. I think too, like with the money sites, those are the ones that you want to focus on with the 18, right? So that if anyone comes around and looks at it, that nothing looks shady, right? That's what the 18 is for. Exactly. So um, then next up, what they do, and the guys, again, um, again, guys, we're just going really high level here. Uh, and then at the end, we're going to share with you guys how to get all 10 of these videos for free. Uh, so then next is tier one and tier two. So um, I think that they did a really fantastic job breaking down the complexities of tier one and tier two. Um, in the past, when we've talked about building a multi-tiered network with Sinwire, I, I can feel, even though I can't see people's eyes, but their eyes just kind of glazing over. And uh, it just gets way too complex, way too fast. And uh, I just gotta hand it to them. They did a fantastic job talking about how they're running tier one and tier two networks. And uh, I think um, the posts or the similar account that they were using had done like 40,000 or 50,000 posts uh, in the last 30 days. So uh, definitely getting a bunch of usage out of it. And they aren't just people telling you guys what to do. They're actually doing it themselves too. That's what I love about it. Yeah. So, um, so basically they have their A team doing video embeds and bookmarks. And then the B team comes behind them uh, and does bookmarks and status updates. So that's like really high level, the two big points is exactly what is A team doing and what's the B team doing? So you have a clear map and you know what everything you know should be doing and how it should be posting. Yep. So then down at the bottom, well we covered that one, up at the top is the index history. So I don't think many people know this, but if you go up into the top right hand corner of Sinwire and you click on that drop down menu and you go to post history, it'll give you a list of all the posts that you've made. And uh, when you click on the link, it's actually a redirect URL, but it'll take you to your profile page on Twitter, 
on wordpress.com, on all the places that you've actually submitted to, right? One at a time. And so what they're doing in this step is they're grabbing all these URLs, they're downloading them, grabbing them, and then they're throwing them through their indexing services and just having fantastic results, making sure that all these sites actually get indexed. So um, at the very beginning of you creating a profile on all these networks, that's the hardest part in actually getting the accounts actually indexed. Once they're indexed, they seem to get indexed pretty regularly, but the hardest part again is right off the bat being able to actually get them indexed pretty quickly. Yeah, I just wanted to add to that, that a lot of people, they, they fret over getting the actual post URLs for the, the post that Sinware actually makes, okay? But what we do provide is the link to the profile URL. And if you just build up backlinks to those like profile URLs, almost like a home page, then those posts that then get made from those are going to automatically get some juice from that. And then they're going to get indexed. Exactly. Um, so next up, let's talk about the Fiverr gig. So um, everybody's always asking us, what's your favorite Fiverr gig? Uh, what do you use Fiverr for? So we're going to be talking about um, what we specifically use Fiverr for. Uh, but first, I want to tell you about why we use Fiverr. So the reason that we use Fiverr is just because it is so cheap, right? Five bucks. Um, not all accounts and not all gigs are obviously five bucks. Um, but what we do whenever we go to purchase is we always sort right by rating, right? And we're looking for lots and lots of people that have bought and really good ratings, right? And those are the people that we trust to actually do this stuff for us. Okay, I'm not gonna go try some new jockey that just signed up for Fiverr yesterday and doesn't have you know any reviews or any ratings, right? That just wouldn't make sense. So that's how I do it. I personally sort by that. I pick out the top three or four gigs and I look at what they're offering and then I make up my mind on who I'm gonna Yep. So then what do you actually use Fiverr for? So we use it to create minions, right? In step one, uh, we also use it for um, them to actually put those minion accounts inside of Sinwire, right? So once uh, the Fiverr gig's done, you don't want to just get a CSV with all the accounts and have to go load 40 accounts by hand yep. into Sinwire, right? Yep. That would just be ridiculous. Right, so they'll actually do it for you. So um, we always, always use that option. Don't waste your time, guys. Um, I know that there are also um, some account creators out there for Simwire that I want to talk about briefly for a moment. Uh, and the reason that we haven't endorsed those is because it just doesn't make sense, right? So um, we just got like a bunch of Simwire accounts created on Fiverr. I think it was. Um, forget the guy's name. If you search on Fiverr, I'm sure you'll find him. But we got like 800 accounts created or something like that, and it was $120, right? And there's some account creator out there being sold. Uh, that's $150, right? But you still have to sit there in front of your computer and push a bunch of buttons. Like, why would you even do that, yeah. right? Hopefully the software's working. Hopefully it doesn't stall. Uh, but you still have to sit in front of it and do the work, right? So why wouldn't you just outsource it so that you can focus on money-making activities, right? Um, so that's what we do specifically. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention too about the minions and having them add the the accounts to your Sinwire account is that a lot of people get concerned and, and ask us, is it okay to, to give them my username and password? And they feel a little uneasy about that. But that's not something they need to worry about because uh, not that anything has ever happened, but at any given time, we can update your password, you can update your password, and that's what we recommend. Let them do the job, then go in and reset your password, and you're good to go. Yep. Cool, so some other things that we use um, uh, Fiverr specifically for, we use Fiverr to find expired, quote unquote, domains. Not really expired domains, but more expired web 2.0s that we post to. For example, Tumblr, Blogspot, um, and other accounts like that. So we can uh, you know, pay somebody five bucks and they will actually bring back, uh, I think the last one that we did was actually Twitter. And it was uh, five Twitter accounts, uh, page authority of 27 or above uh, for five bucks, right? So we're buying an account with some authority already. So that's what I would use like in the tier one and my minion A team specifically. So if you haven't yet, make sure you check that out as well. Um, some other things that we use Fiverr for is uh, Google PVAs, right? Google phone verified accounts. Um, and uh, also we can obviously do things like Twitter likes and other things like that as well. Um, any other thoughts on Fiverr gigs? Uh, uh, no. Okay. 
Um, last but not least, what I think is one of uh, everybody's favorite topics, and that is RSS feed. So we're not gonna go down and dirty too hard. Uh, let's stay uh, nice yeah. and high level on this. Um, but the big thing, the big concept is you wanna use your RSS to feed your minions, right? So you don't wanna have to be in charge of every single day or every single week logging into Sinwire and going and posting good relevant content on your minions profiles, right? That would just be a huge waste of time, okay? So we use RSS feeds to actually power this and to do this for us. So uh, what we like to do is, um, is bring it down to the niche, right? So let's say that you have a minion and they're like the, um, the A tiered minion, the their A team, uh, what we would do is we'd go find, based upon their hobbies and their interests, things that would be appropriate for them to be posting, right? So um, if they're really into celebrity stuff and media and um, let's say fashion, we could do something like TMZ, right? Yep. Uh, if they uh, are into home improvement, we'd go find a whole bunch of home improvement blogs and grab their feeds, right? Or um, take a look at what hobbies you've created for your minions and go find blogs based upon that, right? But use the RSS feeds to power your minions so that when you throw out an actual post that's, um, let's say, let's call it a money post, right? That's actually meant to get yourself a backlink. It doesn't just look like spam and the rest of it, right? You shouldn't land on one of these profiles of your minions and then let's say you're going after mobile dent repair and it's just mobile dent repair, mobile dent repair, mobile dent repair. And it's the same videos, the same anchor text and everything. That's the fastest way to get your accounts flagged, spammed and shut down. Exactly. You want to make sure that you're not just all focused on the keywords, but more so the keywords, the topics and that the topics will relate to the keywords, right? Because the topics are much more interesting than the keywords. Over the years, we've done SEO, uh, SEOing thousands of keywords on the first page. That uh, you know, especially like back in the toner cartridge days, it's pretty dry to be writing articles about certain toner cartridges, right? That that's no good. But interesting things that people would want to read, like you know, maybe a toner cartridge blowing up in some famous CEO's printer, that might be interesting. Right, office or, productivity or other yeah. broader things that aren't so defined. Yeah. Some other ideas for RSS feeds too is that you guys can actually use your uh, YouTube channel RSS feed um, to actually push out. Uh, you can grab the RSS feed for that and then push it out to your minions. Um, you can also do this with playlist feeds. Um, and so you guys could create a playlist um, and you could have all of the videos that you put in the playlist automatically get syndicated out to all of your minions, right? So uh, quite a few ideas there just on RSS feeds on how to keep your minions fresh and not look so promotional when you do a send wire syndication, right? And you're blasting out to all of your networks. Um, so that's it, really keep it hobby based um, and don't get crazy obsessed with this, right? Pick out three to four things for your minions that they like, right? And then just focus the RSS feeds on those topics, right? Don't go crazy with it. Just think three to four things, interests, hobbies, uh, and things that they just like in general, and then go grab a couple feeds about it and put it into the RSS feed section and say, hey, I wanna post one a day or something like that. That's it. It isn't really that complex. Yeah, that's the main thing is don't overthink it, right? That's what a lot of people do. They get all caught up in the details and everything and they just don't do anything because they, they think that if they make one mistake that everything's gonna blow up. And chances are that that's not, that's not what's gonna happen. So don't overthink it and take action, execute, do it, see what happens and rinse and repeat. Cool, yeah, so uh, one more time I wanna thank the Vid Penguin guys for actually putting together these top 10 videos. We just went over six really high level. Uh, to get access to this, just click on the link below and uh, you're going to get access to all 10 of these videos walking guys step by step how to do these six uh, strategies plus four more. So thanks again guys, have an awesome, awesome day. Take care.